That tape program now to take you live to the House Gallery and comments by Republican Congressman Ron Paul. It's very annoying. Not only is it annoying, I think it's illegal, I think it's unconstitutional, I think it's an act of war, and I think it's much worse than anything that we have considered under the impeachment of resolutions. I have a prepared statement for tomorrow, and uh, in that statement I talk about a much more serious act that the president committed than anything that we've generally talked about, and that was the illegal bombing of Sudan and Afghanistan for political reasons. $200 million were spent for that without congressional approval. It was a cynical way of directing attention away from the president onto uh, what he was doing in foreign policy. Unfortunately, though, it meets no resistance because too many on our side of the aisle like to drop bombs. And I think that's wrong. There's been a lot of talk about the Constitution in the last several weeks, in the last several months. A lot of people holding up the Constitution. But I'd like them to read the Constitution, everybody here in this Congress, to read the Constitution about committing acts of war. And we wouldn't be doing this. And I beg and plead that our leadership not get distracted by, from what they're doing uh, because of this. This, to me, is an outrage, and we shouldn't be participating in it. We should not permit our president to do this. It's very dangerous. It has nothing to do with national security. Matter of fact, our national security is more jeopardized by permitting this to happen because we're liable to start a war. We're liable to have our military men killed. We're liable to have more attacks on us by terrorists because we're inviting these. There's just a bit of irony that our president can hide behind the military. One that is a president that is not held in high esteem by the military, and he has never held the military in high esteem and has avoided it, and now he uses the military to hide behind. I think this is atrocious. I think it shouldn't be permitted. We should speak out. But the important reason is that this act, this act of committing war, whether it's a Republican or a Democratic president, is wrong. War should only be fought with the consensus of the people through the Congress. And yet in these later years, in the last several decades, we have been too willing to allow our presidents to do this. So I urge our Republican leadership especially, and I will at the conference, not to go along with this and not give the endorsement that the president is looking for because he's hiding behind this. It's very dangerous, has nothing to do with national security. Thank you. What kind of signal has the leadership sent you um, as far as the next step in the impeachment? The only thing we've heard about what the leadership might do has been from the television. The official remarks from our leadership has no, uh, nothing has been changed. But it would be fully discussed at our conference tonight on what might happen. And I hope I have the opportunity to voice my opinion because I feel very strongly about it. And I am convinced that the American people aren't looking for a war under these circumstances. This morning, Chairman Hyde suggested that if military action were to begin, that it would just be logical to pause and take a break from the impeachment proceedings. Uh, and I take it you disagree with that. Um, what then can uh, the Congress do given this situation? Well, I think it would be logical to stop the bombing, to suspend the bombing. There, there's no threat. We're going to do more harm by doing this. So the logic is stop the bombing and not endorse what the president's doing. If, if Congress were given an opportunity to vote on whether we should bomb Iraq, would you go along with that as long as it, it went through the, the procedures? No, I would strongly oppose it because they're not a threat to our national security. Uh, Iraq has a third-rate army. They have no ability to wage war. Our policies are deliberately destroying the country. They can't feed their children. They're not allowed to have medication. There was a story in today's paper where one of our private charity groups was being fined because they were trying to get medicines into the Iraqi people. 
So for us to unleash bombs on Iraq at this particular time to kill more innocent people for narrow political reasons, no, there is absolutely no need to cause more bombing because of a very overall flawed foreign policy. This is a continuation of a policy that we've had for quite a few decades, and we're still fighting the Persian Gulf War. I mean, that's what we should be addressing. But I wish the Congress would address the unconstitutionality of presidents waging war. That, to me, is a lot more serious than uh, Monica Lewinsky, let me tell you. How are you going to vote on impeachment? I'll well, vote for impeachment. For all four articles? Yes, uh, unenthusiastically, because I think the charges are way too mild and not touching the issues that I would like to touch. I, for instance, uh, am not comfortable with the uh, investigation. I don't like the way it was done. I don't uh, uh, like the special prosecutor and their techniques. But I also detest and I do not like the administration's invasion of our privacy with the holding of 1,000 FBI records in the White House. Those are the kind of things that should have been investigated. We've omitted the serious charges. We played around with games on this uh, sex scandal. And here, we as Republicans, our leadership too often endorses a foreign policy that gets the president off the hook, as they did when the president bombed Sudan and Afghanistan. If military action did start, would, would you uh, propose going ahead with the impeachment proceeding? I don't, I don't, I don't think, uh, no, I would, yes, I would say go along with it if, if, uh, if it's necessary, because he could, if he did, he might have the war for two years. So if, if you use the logic of, oh, there's a war going on, we shouldn't deal with what we're obligated to do. Oh, the longer the war lasts, the longer the president stays. No, we shouldn't do that. We should do what we're supposed to do, do it and get it over with. But... Uh, Serious. Were you at all suggesting that if uh, the president were to order an attack on uh, Iraq, that you would uh, you would support adding another article of impeachment? I yes. Matter of fact, I think waging war without congressional approval is, is an impeachable act. They should not do this. It's clearly unconstitutional. But. We have conditioned the Congress and the American people to the point where we allow our presidents to do too much that they should never have been permitted to do. He has a precedent for what he's doing, but he doesn't have the moral authority and he doesn't have the constitutional authority to do what he's doing. If, as a follow-up, if you attempted to do that, if events transpired that uh, you attempted to do that. Number one, do you think it would be found in order, meaning germane to the impeachment resolution? And number two, would you get any support? No. Well, I guess the a clear answer to your question is I would feel that way, and I might say it, but it would have uh, it w would die of lack of support. Uh, no, it wouldn't go anywhere because the leadership on both sides. I think another irony of all this is this has to be an a direct affront to the most solid base of the Democrats for Clinton. Those who detest war, those who have been anti-war, those who have opposed bombing Iraq are his hardest core liberal base and they will be the most offended. And they should have serious thought about this president if he cares so little about their feelings that he's ready to flaunt it in their face and say, we don't care about what you think about us bombing Iraq even though you've gone to the mat for me to try to save my presidency. Why should they save his presidency if he does exactly opposite of what they believe when it comes to dealing with countries like Iraq? Thank you. Thank you. That's Representative Ron Paul, a Republican of Texas, appearing in the House Gallery with uh, some remarks on the situation in Iraq and the impeachment process.